Hi guys and welcome. In today's session, we are going to look at integrating Jenkins and SonarCube. And this can be used to manage your project. But before we begin, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and turn on the notifications so you don't miss an update. Also, if you are interested in a certification program, check out the links below. So, let's begin by discussing today's topics. These are, what is SonarCube? What is Jenkins? Prerequisites for the integration of SonarCube and Jenkins. Then, we will have a hands-on demo in which we will run a simple project by integrating these two. So let's start. So what is SonarCube? Well, SonarCube is an open source platform made for continuous inspection of code quality. This makes it possible for developers to improve the quality of their code and avoid vulnerabilities and bugs. Thus, it helps maintain the code integrity and avoid bugs. Now, let's see what is Jenkins. In DevOps, Continuous integration is important and this is achieved using Jenkins, which is an open source automation tool made for continuous integration and continuous delivery purposes. It is easy to install and has a huge community of developers. And this is one of the reasons why it is so popular in DevOps community. Next, we we'll look at the prerequisites or steps for integrating Jenkins with SonarCube. Here, we have major requirement of having SonarCube and Jenkins server. So, after the first two conditions have been met, we will generate a token for accessing the SonarCube. Next, we will install Sonar Scanner plugin in Jenkins and then configure Jenkins in order to inspect our project which has been deployed on the GitHub repository. Now, with that, let's move on to the demo. First thing you must have is Jenkins and SonarCube up and running. Now, the first step for you to do is to create an access token, which will be used by the Jenkins to access SonarCube. So to do that, first you create a new project in SonarCube and then select manually and give your project a name. Now, give your token any name. And then click generate. Now, this is the token that will be used by Jenkins to access SonarCube. So, what we'll do is we'll copy this and we'll save it. Now, the next step is to add the credentials into the Jenkins. But before we do that, we will install the plugin. So, we go over to manage Jenkins and click on manage plugins. In here, we click on the available plugins and search for SonarCube. So we see the first option, SonarCube Scanner, and what we'll do is, we'll install this without restart. So now that the installation has been successful, we'll click this button, which will essentially restart Jenkins. And now that the Jenkins is restarting, all you need to do is wait till Jenkins is ready. Now, let's log in to our Jenkins. Now, do you remember the token that we earlier created? What we are going to do is we are going to add this into our Jenkins credentials. So to do that, we go to manage Jenkins and click on manage credentials under security. Here, we click on this and then we go to global credentials. Now, we add our credential. And because we only have the token, we are going to select the secret text here. Now, we'll copy this value and then paste the token into the secret field here and we'll provide it a name. We do the same for description and click OK. Now, before we can do other things, we need to configure the system. So first, we go here and then we will scroll down and click on the environment variable. In here, under sonar cube installation, we'll click on add sonar cube and give it a name. Then we'll provide it with the value. Since we are running on the local host 9000 port, we'll use the same value here. Now we'll select the token that we previously fed into this and we will click save. Now 
we again go to manage Jenkins and go to global tool configuration. And here we will scroll down. Now under this setting, which says Sonar Cube Scanner, we'll add. Now we'll provide it a name and then click save. Now we are ready to make our project. But before we do that, first I wanted to show you what I have here. So this is the project that I have and in this what we have is a web file. So in this we have some HTML files. So here what we are going to do is we will add this project and build it using Jenkins and then Sonar Cube will scan our code and tell us what is wrong or if it is right. So let's create our project. Here I'll select the freestyle project and here I'll provide the project a name. Now I'll click OK and I'll provide a description. Now I'll hit this portion here because I want to specify the number of days and the maximum number of builds that I want to keep. Now for our code, what I'll do is I'll provide it with my code which has been stored here. So I'll copy this and then clone it into my Jenkins. Now, because we have the main branch here, we need to change this in our project as well. So we will write main instead. And here we will take this button which says prepare sonar cube scanner environment. Okay, we'll select none for now. And now we will add our build step. And in here, we will select invoke top level Maven target. Now that we have this, you have to have your Maven path defined in your Jenkins. So we select this and for the goals, I'll say clean install sonar colon sonar. And essentially, after saving this, it should be able to run. So we build our project and see what is the console output. And as you can see here, it says build has been successfully built. And the analysis can be seen by going to this result. So we open this link and here we can see what is the reliability of our code. So in here we see that we can improve our code a little bit. And when you click here, you can see and identify what is problem with your code. And if you click why is this an issue? You will find what the non compliant code looks like and what the compliant code should look like. So, if your code has any error, you can refer to this and essentially make your code better. And therefore, you can make your code better by following the compliant codes which are being provided by the Sonar scanner. And now that you have seen how you can run a simple project using Jenkins and SonarQ, you can also use a pipeline. Feel free to experiment and learn as you stumble into errors because errors are the only way that you can improve. And with that, the demo is concluded. If you want to learn more about how to install Jenkins, check out our other videos. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!